Hey, what is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you a few simple magic tricks that you can do with objects that you probably have right now. These tricks are super easy to learn, um, but they're also really cool. So uh, it can be a good thing to know if you ever want to impress someone. So yeah, let's check them out. Alright guys, so for this first trick, all we're going to need is a single match. Um, or you could use a toothpick if you wanted to, but let me show you how it works. So first what we're going to do is just cut off the tip. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this in half. So we're left with two parts. And what I'm going to do is put them between my uh, index and thumb, just like that. And what I'm going to do is actually pass them through each other. I'm not going through now, but um, we can actually just pass them through, just like that. All right guys, so how did I do this? Well, basically, as you saw before, um, all I did was break off the tip of a match head, break the match in two, so we're left with two parts. Now, the secret behind this trick is actually getting one of the match heads to stick to one side of your finger. So to do this, what you wanna do is squeeze down pretty hard on the match stick. When you pull up, one side's gonna stick to your finger, just like that, see? And that allows us to pass the match right under through just like that and you can show the audience that you're attempting to pull the match stick through um, in the middle but the time you actually go to do it you just lift up a little bit and pull it under and out just like that you see that right there let me show you again going through can't, can't go through but the time we do we actually just go under just like that and if you do it fast it looks really realistic especially if you angle it the way I did like this um, you just pull it right out just like that, super easy. In, out. And you can even do it slowly if you have it angled right. Just like that. So yeah, just like that. Pretty simple to do. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, especially if you don't have a good stick. If you're having a little bit of trouble getting the sticking part down, one trick I had, if you wanna just practice this, um, is you can actually put a small dab of super glue on one of the ends. And this way, when you stick them to your finger, doesn't have to be a lot, like it's super unnoticeable. Um, no one's gonna see it, but um, when you stick it to your finger, hold it for a second, there's no way this is coming off, um, unless you just pull it off. But uh, for this one, you're gonna need a rubber band. Here's what I'm gonna do. Basically, stretch it a little bit, get it all worked up. What I'm actually gonna do is break this rubber band and put it back together. So, so check this out, ready? One, two, three, just snapped it there, and then ready? Put it back together. All right, so how did I do this? Um, basically, you want a very thin, very stretchy rubber band. Um, these work all right, but uh, they're not the best because they're kind of thick. Um, but what you do is basically beforehand, double over the rubber band. So basically, you have a loop right here. You want to bring it over and then pinch one end in your hand like this. So now you have a rubber band that's um, doubled over, but it looks like one. And then all you do, just keep a lot of movement so no one can tell it's actually two. Um, if you're using kind of a thicker rubber band like me. Um, so yeah, just do a lot of movement, say I'm gonna break this in one, two, in like one, two, three. Just break it off like that. You can see it's uh, broken in half, or that's the illusion anyway. Um, and then to put it back together, all you have to do is just drop one side. So I dropped this hand. As you can see, it's back together, just like that. All right, so for this next trick, you're gonna want a rubber band, um, but you're gonna want it to be small enough to fit around two of your fingers. Um, this one's a little bit big, so I'm just going to cut it and retie it real quick. This knot doesn't matter too much. Um, I just don't have any smaller rubber bands at the moment. Alright, so here's the trick. We're going to make this rubber band magically jump from these two fingers up to these two fingers. See, we've got it right there, and then boom, just moved over.
All right, so as you can see, a pretty cool trick. Um, and if you do it right, it can look really nice. Um, so how do you do this? Uh, so we have this small rubber band right here. And all you wanna do is you're, you're actually are gonna put it on two of your fingers. Um, that's all it is. Um, but the thing you do um, when you're showing your audience that it's just like a normal rubber band, you kinda wanna move it around a little bit, maybe go like this, do some circles. Um, what you wanna do is actually, when you come back, stick all your fingers through the rubber band, just like this. And then uh, when you wanna make it jump from your fingers, just extend your hands and uh, the rubber band will travel down to these two fingers. Um, so let's see that again. And you can actually just do it back up if you just do the same thing. It'll pop right back up to your first fingers. Um, so by sticking all your fingers through the rubber band and by extending, we're basically just allowing this rubber band to come off here and go down to here. All we're basically doing is going like this. But obviously that doesn't look as cool as um, doing something like this and then just snapping your fingers and having it pop down real quick. All right guys, and so for this last trick, all we're gonna need is a smartphone and then something small and thin. Uh, in my experience with this, money works pretty well. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using, but anything thin, papery um, will work as well. So let's check this out. All right, so this is how this one works. We start with a blank screen on our phone. Um, and then what we do is magically make some money appear on our phone. As you can see, we've got some money right there. And then what we can do is actually bring this money to real life. As you can see, a uh, pretty cool trick to do. Um, I bet you guys can guess how it's done, but nevertheless, it's actually a really fun, really cool trick to do. Um, so here's how to do it. All right, first you wanna start with your phone and you wanna go ahead and open up the camera app. And then we're gonna go ahead and snap a picture of total darkness. So the best way to do this is just to put your phone down, flat surface, turn the flash off, and just take a picture just like that. Um, so we've got a black picture right there. Um, as you can see, it looks like the phone's just off. Um, yeah, so that's good like that. And next, we're gonna take our money. Um, you wanna fold it up in kind of a way that's gonna be easy to conceal. Um, so you can have it like this, but uh, I just fold it one more time. Had it uh, like that, so it's a square. And you wanna go ahead and find a black background um, to take your picture on, because we're gonna actually take a picture of this. So I've got a box right here. Uh, black box, so what I'm gonna do is actually try and only get the black background because that'll make this trick look really good So I'm gonna turn off this light and um, Just have this light right here So we have our picture right here um, But as you can see this compared to the previous picture you can see there's still some um, there's a background in there It's honestly not too big of a deal But just to give a better illusion what we can actually do is go ahead and edit the picture. Uh, most smartphones have photo editors built in, or you can download one. But all we're gonna do is actually go ahead and go to the light, and we're gonna bring this light down. And that'll basically try and, that'll cancel out a lot of the background, um, and just focus on the highlighted object, which is the money in this case. Um, so if I bring that down all the way, you can only see the money and not the background. So now, it's a much more convincing image. So now we're set up to do this trick. So you'll have your phone like this, and what you wanna do with the money is just uh, palm it, just keep it in your hand, keep it out of the way, and then carefully, when they're not looking, just like, just switch hands so you have the money facing the direction of the picture on the back of the phone. Um, so you could be like this, having your phone in this hand, and then just casually switch direction, casually switch hands, just like that. Um, yeah, so it's a blank phone, and if you want, you could say like, oh, check this out, I can make money appear in my phone, and just like do something subtle like that, just maybe like a little swipe while you cover it, um, or like subtly try and swipe with your hand. I don't know, um, I've, had varying, I've had varying degrees of success with this. Um, or you can just start with the money, be like, hey, check this out, what if I can bring this money to life? What if I can make it real? And um, all you wanna do is grip the money on the back of your phone with two fingers and right as you swipe, do it kind of fast, just pull the money right off the phone. And there you go, money in real life. Let me show you that one more time. So we have the money in the back of the phone. Um, you can keep the other hand over it if you don't want them to know and just carefully, carefully pull the money out of the phone. You can see the black background's next so uh, it will look like the money just went off the screen into your hand. All right guys, so there you go. There's a few cool, simple magic tricks you can do with stuff you probably have right now. 
Um, super helpful to know in case you like need to entertain some people. Um, and yeah, just uh, a lot of fun. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, also click that subscribe button if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, if you have any magic tricks of your own, drop them in the description. Um, I'd love to hear about them. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I've got for today, guys. And I will catch you in the next video.